Did you know that approximately 80% of adults will experience back pain at some point in their lives? That's an astonishing four out of every five people. Back pain is not just a minor inconvenience. It's a crippling condition that can drastically impact our ability to live a fulfilling life. In fact, it's one of the leading causes of disability worldwide, leaving countless individuals unable to work or enjoy their favorite activities. But why is back pain such a rampant issue in today's society? The human back is a complex structure of muscles, ligaments, tendons, discs, and bones, all working together to support our bodies. Let's take a moment to appreciate the intricate design of this biological marvel. The back is essentially the body's support beam, responsible for keeping us upright and mobile. It's composed of 33 vertebrae, cushioned by gel-like discs that act as shock absorbers. Our back muscles and ligaments work in unison to provide strength and flexibility. This intricate system is indeed a biomechanical masterpiece. However, it's also a system under constant pressure, making it susceptible to pain. A common cause of back pain is poor posture, slouching, hunching over your computer, or craning your neck to look at your smartphone, these positions put undue stress on your spine, leading to discomfort and eventually back pain. Then there's heavy lifting. Hoisting heavy objects puts immense strain on the lower back. If done incorrectly, it can lead to muscle sprains, disc injuries, and other painful conditions. And let's not forget our sedentary lifestyles. Sitting for extended periods without regular movement can weaken the back muscles, making them more prone to injury. It's a modern-day plight that many of us can relate to as we spend hours hunched over our desks or lounging on our sofas. Stress, too, plays a role in back pain. When we're stressed, our bodies respond by tightening our muscles, including those in the back. Chronic stress can lead to persistent tension and pain. It's also worth mentioning that certain diseases, such as arthritis and osteoporosis, can cause back pain. These conditions can lead to inflammation or bone loss in the spine, causing discomfort and limiting mobility. In understanding the causes of back pain, it becomes clear how our daily habits and lifestyle choices can significantly affect our spinal health. By recognizing these factors, we can take proactive steps towards prevention and management. So, now that we know why we experience back pain, what can we do about it? Believe it or not, the food we consume can have a significant impact on back pain. That's right, your breakfast, lunch, and dinner might be the secret culprits behind your aching back. You see, certain foods can trigger inflammation in our bodies. Now, inflammation isn't always bad. It's our body's natural response to injury or infection, a way to protect ourselves. But when inflammation becomes chronic, it can lead to back pain and other health issues. So what are these inflammatory foods? Well, they're often the ones we love the most. Processed foods, sugary drinks, and yes, even that mouth-watering pastry that calls your name from the bakery window. These foods are high in sugar and unhealthy fats, which can cause inflammation. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. There's a silver lining in the form of anti-inflammatory foods that can help combat back pain. Picture a plate full of vibrant, leafy greens like spinach and kale, rich in vitamins and antioxidants. These green heroes are packed with anti-inflammatory properties that help fight off inflammation. And let's not forget the power of nuts and seeds. Almonds, walnuts, chia seeds, and flax seeds are not just delicious, but also packed with healthy fats and fiber. They work their magic by reducing inflammation and providing the nutrients your body needs to repair itself. Then there's the king of anti-inflammatory foods, fatty fish. Salmon, mackerel, sardines, and others are brimming with omega-3 fatty acids known to reduce inflammation. Including these in your diet can help ease your back pain and boost your overall health. And of course, hydration is key. Water helps maintain the health of your spinal discs and keeps your body functioning smoothly. So, remember to keep up with your water intake. Now, I know this might seem like a lot to take in. And it's not about completely overhauling your diet overnight. It's about making small, manageable changes. Start by incorporating more anti-inflammatory foods into your meals and gradually reduce the intake of inflammatory ones. Remember, every food choice you make is an opportunity to move towards a healthier, pain-free back. And the amazing thing is these dietary changes won't just help your back. They'll have a positive impact on your overall health and well-being. But it's not just about what you eat, it's also about what you avoid. Just as there are foods that can help alleviate back pain, there are also foods that can exacerbate it. In our journey towards a healthier back, it's important to recognize that our diet can play a significant role. You see, certain foods are known to contribute to inflammation, which can lead to increased back pain. And we don't want that, do we? 
First on our list are processed foods. These are foods that have been altered from their natural state for convenience, longevity, or taste. Think frozen meals, canned foods, and fast food. These kinds of food are often high in sodium, unhealthy fats, and additives, all of which can spur inflammation in the body and consequently back pain. Next, we have sugar. Yes, that sweet ingredient that makes everything taste so good. However, sugar is a major culprit when it comes to inflammation. Consuming too much sugar can lead to weight gain, which puts more pressure on your back and can lead to pain. Not only that, but sugar can also trigger the release of inflammatory messengers called cytokines. So, next time you're craving for a sweet treat, consider reaching for a piece of fruit instead. And let's not forget about alcohol. While a glass of wine or a beer here and there might not hurt, excessive consumption can have damaging effects on our bodies, leading to inflammation and back pain. Alcohol can also dehydrate you, which can cause muscle spasms and back pain. So, what's the takeaway here? Simply put, cutting out or reducing these foods in your diet can help reduce inflammation and, in turn, back pain. But remember, this isn't about completely depriving yourself, it's about making smarter choices more often. Remember, changing your diet is a process, not an overnight solution. It takes time and commitment, but the result, a healthier, pain-free back, is definitely worth the effort. So start making those changes today and feel the difference in your back. It's time to wave goodbye to back pain and say hello to a healthier lifestyle. Back pain can be debilitating, but with the right knowledge and tools, you can take control of your health. As we've unraveled in this video, the root cause of back pain often lies in our everyday habits and, surprisingly, our plates. We've delved into the dietary solutions that can alleviate back pain. It's all about nourishing your body with the right nutrients. From magnesium-rich foods to vitamin D and omega-3 fatty acids, these nutrients are your allies in the battle against back pain. Equally important is being mindful of the foods you should steer clear of. Foods high in sugar and trans fats can exacerbate inflammation and back pain. Remember, a healthy back is not just about the right exercises, but also about the right diet. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this. Together we can beat back pain.